Hey there, welcome to the big promo cast. The show we like to highlight brands that use custom merch for marketing and promos. Give our audience some ideas for their own campaigns. We'd love it if you left a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast, or even in a comment down below this video. I've got a few things on the list today. Twitter's not paying his bills. I got some fun movie promos going on. Also a fundraiser Ryan Reynolds is a part of uh, for Terry Fox Foundation in Canada. That's a pretty cool one. I'm going to start with the Twitter one. Twitter owes people money. He took over in September and they quit paying their bills. They quit paying rent. They quit paying all kinds of stuff. Somebody in our industry, one of my competitors, my colleagues, I guess, they sent him a $7,000 swag box in September. It included a $700 bottle of whiskey, $200 worth of cheese. I mean, I don't know how you get to $7,000 in a single swag box. Candles, water bottles, soap, slippers, bath salts, cookie cutters. It's crazy. But they had to file suit against him, and that's not all he owes them. He owes them almost four hundred grand. And this company has sold Twitter stuff since 2013. Almost $10 million bucks they've done so far in their relationship. But since he took over, he quit paying bills. But he quit paying rent. He, he got locked out of offices because he's not paying rent. I don't know what that guy's doing. It's, uh, I'm glad it's not me. I'm glad he's not stiffing me because I don't know. It's just, I don't know how you can fight it. I don't know how you can, I mean, I don't, what, what are you going to put a lean on his building? He didn't own the building. I don't know how you're going to, I don't know how they're going to get their money out of that. So anyway, yeah, Twitter going downhill fast. Uh, next one's movie promos. A while back, we talked about a popcorn bucket for the Love and Thunder uh, movie, the Thor Love and Thunder movie. And that was a thing where you, you had to buy it online and then get the thing after the movie had got through playing in the theater. Well, that's no good. So anyway, they came out with uh, Scream is coming out. Scream 6, I think. Or Scream 4. I don't know. Scream 6. They're coming out with a popcorn tub as well. That's the ghost face guy. But they had it in the theater. You know, the movie didn't come out till next week. And they had it in the theater and people bought it and it sold out real fast. Even though the movie's not playing. So anyway. Um, so they decided to come up with a selling it online. So that you could take you could place an online order for this popcorn tub. Well, that's all great too, except they're going to take orders until March 17th. So the movie's been out a week. They're not going to ship this until August. It's crazy. And it's not, it doesn't come with popcorn in it. It's 20 bucks, but you don't you order it in March and you don't see it till August. I would have forgotten I ordered it by August. I don't know. I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think it's a good look. However, at least they're doing something for the movie because a lot of people don't do stuff for movies. So anyway, that's kind of a neat thing. Um, the next thing I have is Ant-Man and the Wasp is out, I think. Quantum something or other. What's the name of that movie? Quantum uh, Quantum Mania. So they came out with... Uh, there was a scene in the movie where Ant-Man... Is it Giants, San Francisco Giants Field? What do they call it now? It's not Candlestick anymore. Oracle Park. And he becomes 100 feet tall. And he's hitting home runs like three miles away. Alameda, I think somebody said. So they had a, they had 20,000 of these hats made up. They have little ants crawling all over the San Francisco hats. I mean, the San Francisco Giants hat. Well, anyway, they cut the scene for the movie. So now the hats, nobody knows where the hats are. I think that's kind of funny. And people are dying for them. They, they want them. Where are these hats? <laughs> I guess I never knew. I guess I never shot it. Anyway. Didn't make it. They made 20,000 hats for it. Anyway. I thought that was kind of funny, too. Uh, and the last thing I have is our buddy Ryan Reynolds. He's a good guy. He's always buying soccer teams and repping his mobile phone company. And the latest thing I saw is he was promoting something with Jack in the box, but he's generally a good dude. 
he designed a T-shirt for the Terry Fox Foundation. And I've never heard of Terry Fox, and so I read up on it. It was like back in 1980 or so, Terry Fox was an 18-year-old kid that got some kind of cancer, and he lost one of his legs. And he was a real athlete or whatever, so he decided he wanted to raise money for cancer. And he raised money for cancer by running across Canada. So he went to the Atlantic Ocean, started running, and made it about 3,000 miles, 5,000-something kilometers before – the cancer got him again. I think he started in April and he, he stopped in September. He didn't make it all the way, but he made it 3000 miles. It's crazy. So anyway, every year they do this Terry Fox run and they, and the Terry Fox runs go on all over the country in Canada, all kinds of little, there's kid runs, there's single runs, but the runs are on September 17th. So anyway, Ryan Reynolds came up with a shirt to raise money for the foundation designed by him and he's got a big platform. He's got a huge Twitter thing. So anyway, they sold this shirt out fast. So now they've, they've sold, they pre-sold about 6,000 of them so far. Um, so anyway, Ryan Reynolds is a great dude. And he said, he's been running in this race since the second grade. So I don't know what that means. Ryan Reynolds isn't an old guy, 35 bucks for a shirt goes all the way up to three X. So if you see a three X guy in a run, that's awesome. You're doing some good. Um, and here's a, and I'll put links to all this stuff in the show notes too. Here's a link to the story and you can read all about the uh, history and stuff. Cause it's a, it's an awesome story. He, he actually, you know, two hours, one day, 10 hours, another day. Cause he was in bad health. So anyway, it was, a, it's an awesome story. So, uh, that's all I have about that. That's all I have for this one. Uh, for my shout out, I'm going to shout down FedEx. Why do you keep dropping the ball? Why can't you just get your shit together? I had a customer call that said all of a sudden her package was marked delivered. She's sitting there waiting for it. It was never delivered. Nobody ever came to the office. We don't know where, we don't know where it is. Whoever the driver is. Anyway, FedEx, come on. Quit hiring contractors, hire employees, and make people toe the line. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to end this one, y'all. This is short and sweet. See you later.